you wish to set a static IP at the fire alarm control panel, there are two methods to do this. You can do this through the panel programming software or through the panel keypad. To set a static IP through the programming software, on any panel you'll go to LAN settings in the programming software. From LAN settings you'll click use static IP and you can fill in the information for the IP address, the subnet mask, the default gateway, and the DNS server. This information can be obtained from your network administrator. Once you have set this, you can download this into your panel and the panel will now have the static IP as assigned in the software. To set a static IP through the fire alarm control panel keypad, you're going to access the main menu, select number 6, Programming, enter in your code, and from here you're going to select number 3, IP Settings. In IP settings, the first thing you want to do is turn off the DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So we'll go to number one. You'll see that it says yes for enabled. We'll select the down arrow to change that to N for no, and then enter. It'll ask you about a auto private IP. We'll say no to that, and then also no to using an alternate IP. From here, it brings you back out to your Ethernet options, and you can select number two for setting a static IP. You can go ahead and enter in the static IP. This is usually provided to you from a network administrator. Each time you enter a set of numbers, you can select enter, which will move you to the next spot. Once you get that set, it'll bring you back out, and you can go to number three, setting a subnet mask. Again, selecting Enter to move through and change the subnet mask as provided to you from your network administrator. Once you're done with that, you can go to your default gateway, which is number four, and go ahead and enter in your default gateway. Five, six, and seven are for alternate IP, subnet mask, and gateway. You do not need to enter those to get this to be set. At this point, you can escape out of here. It's going to save the changes, escape out of programming, accept it, and the panel will restart with your static IP as assigned through the keypad. When the panel restarts, it will initialize and it'll find that IP address as you've assigned to it and show you that as long as you have a network connection or some connection to the PCOM port. If I wanted to check the other settings, I can go to my main menu. I can select number five, system tools, enter in my code, and then number three, ethernet tools, and from here, ethernet status. This is going to show me the IP address, the subnet mask, and I can scroll down to see the default gateway and the DNS server. When a static IP has been assigned to the fire alarm control panel, when you do a direct connect to program the fire alarm control panel, you will need to adjust the IP address of your laptop computer in order to successfully communicate with the fire alarm control panel. For more information on adjusting the IP address of your laptop computer, please see the video Direct Connect IP Conflict for either Windows 7 or Windows 8. For more information, please visit our website www.pottersignal.com.